Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a brand new release, 2020 Panini Donruss Elite Football. Six box half case Ram team break number two. Remember Jason did the first half earlier, so he marked all of those RT2 or that group RT2. So that whole group is RT2. Big thanks to, oh, big thanks to nobody. Big thanks to these folks right here. We haven't done the early bird yet. First 20 spots, we'll have a chance at an extra spot. There you go. Nice. So first 20 spots. Chance at an extra spot. Separate dice roll. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Name on top after three. One. Two. Three. Boom. Chris Hansen, congrats to you. You are in. You are the early bird that catches the delicious, delicious worm. Now... Let's do the actual randomizer itself for the team. We'll put them in the new tab right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three, three again. Three times. One, two, and three. Easy. Then we've got Chris down to Chris. Chris with a C, Chris with a K. Three times for the teams. One, two, and three. After three times, we've got the... Indy Colts down to the Denver Broncos, my rivals. All right. Chris with the Colts. Joseph with the Texans. Chris Hansen with the Dolphins. Robert with the Bengals. Nice couple of big teams right there. Chris Maxwell with the Jags. Tony with the Jets. Adam with the Panthers. Angel with the Bears. Corey with the Bills. Nick with the Lions. Jeremy Anderson with the Rams. Chris Erickson with the Steelers. Chris Maxwell with the Ravens. Brian V with the Chiefs. Amber, you got the Packers. Tony with the Niners. Colton with the Seahawks. Arthur with my Raiders. Chris Maxwell with the Bucks and Titans. At Adam Cupper Ma. That's not right. Adam Cupper, Cupper Man. He's not a Cupper Ma. He's a man. Adam Cupper Man with the uh, Eagles. Scott with the Boys. Chris Hansen with the Patriots. Maxwell with the Browns. Josh with the Chargers, Daniel with the Vikings, Jason with the Cardinals, uh, Hanson with your uh, early bird spot, that is, Redskins, Nick Stover with the Falcons, Jordan with the Giants, Mike V with the Saints, Last Spot Mojo, and Chris Erickson with the Denver Broncos. Um, I'm going to pause the video just for a few moments after I alphabetize these by team name. I'm going to pause and see if there's any trades. We'll have a little trading window. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. Not even a whisper of a trade. So this list right here remains. Cover. All right, there you go. <laughs> Half case, random team two, new release day on a Wednesday. Hump day. There's your list right there. All right. What do we got in here? How did the first half look? Five cards, 20 cards, blah, blah, blah. that's what we're looking for right here. Good luck, boys. Good luck, girls. Good luck, children of all ages. Uh, Dodgers Astros game on the background. Tight one. 1 1. Bit of a pitching duel here. Top of the eighth. 1 1.
All right. Good luck. Here we go. Vet commons don't ship, but inserts will ship. Like that. And obviously all the rookie cards will ship too. Numbered cards, veteran or rookie, will obviously ship. And we got Cooper Cup, Spellbound. Do you think we could spell Cup in this break? I feel like we can. Rams. We'll build that set for you during the break, Jeremy Anderson. Raekwon Davis to 799. Dalvin Cook to 399. And we'll sleeve and top load all those later before they go out. Mike Evans die cut to 24. That's pretty cool. And Cole Komet is your pen pal's autograph. Right on the card, Bears. Angel Acevedo with that one. Da Bears. Yeah, I don't want to spell Edwards Hilaire, Adam. That's for sure. Cup, I think I can I think we can accomplish during this break. Come on. <laughs> Do a randomizer for that? We got Joe Reed. Cracked ice. Cracked ice? No. X. A checkered pattern right there. It's 399. Michael Pittman. 799. Dual threats. Taysom Hill. And Nick Chubb. Primary colors relic for the Browns, Chris Maxwell. Trayvon Diggs and all the team logos are right there too. It'll be easy. Nice and easy for you, me, the shipping team. And Heinz Ward. Wow, autograph. 17 out of 49. Nice Heinz Ward for Chris Erickson and the Steelers. Not well, surprising. Not bad. That's Travis Kelsey to 399. What bad team in the NFL, ladies and gentlemen, what bad team is going to turn out to be a good team, right? Every year, and I ask this question every year, too. It's just interesting. Every year, there's always a team, because all this parody in football. A team that was terrible in 2019 is going to be like a playoff team in 2020. Who do you think that's going to be? Let's say a bad team, sub-500 record. That suddenly turns into a playoff team. Let's look at last year's standings. Mark uh, Hiraki says uh, Chargers. Yeah, they were five and eleven last year. Even even my Raiders had a better record than the Chargers. Uh, but yeah, Chargers. Browns is Tyler, but yeah, Browns were extremely disappointing last year. They went six and ten last year. But they look so great on paper. I think it was coaching, really. I think the I think the coach was just probably a nice guy, way outmatched for running that team. But yeah, they they've got they've got a lot of uh, talent on paper. See, at a glance, 
I don't think any of the sub 500 AFC East teams are getting in, right? Jets, Dolphins. Jets, man, I don't know about the Jets. I mean, I feel like I feel like last year not a not a not the best representation of their season. Sam Darnold catching the mono, and then I don't he I don't think he was quite right. The entire season never got into a good groove. Still won seven games though, so. I don't, Dolphins are still a ways away. Yeah, we talked Browns. I think Bengals are going to be a ways away. Might be a brutal season for Joey B. Hopefully he'll put up like stats though. Colts seven and nine last year. Jaguars six and ten. Any believers there? Drew Lock to ninety nine. Oh, we're saving some of these, too. I think that might be the only vet common that I'll save. Those Brady in his Bucks gear. Michael Thomas to 349, spellbound. Yeah, Daniel saying a 6-2 six and, two, six and two to finish the season for the Jets. I know they lost Jamal Adams, but... It goes to Chris Maxwell on the Buccaneers. Duvernay. Chase Young to 49 for the Washington football team. And another Cole Komet Pen Pals autograph. Second in a row for Angel and the Bears. Yeah, so. Yeah, Sean showed me that Joe Kelly Instagram post. I thought that was stellar. Drew locked three ninety nine. Field vision Drew Brees. I thought that was gonna be an autograph for a second. That still looks cool. That'll ship obviously. We got Jaguars edition of Josh Allen. Jaguars? They were six and ten last year. Are, are they a team that a sub five hundred team that turns into a playoff team? Yeah, Joe Kelly is a Red Sox and Dodger legend forever. I think so. I mean, yeah, I wish he was a little more consistent as a as a pitcher, but as a man, as a human being, I think uh, I think he will be he will be a fan favorite for a long time. Robert Copeland, the seven out of nine, Joe Burrow, Bengals, still in his LSU gear. We'll do randomizers for that. Jalen Ragor. 15 out of 25, turn of the century autograph for the Fly Eagles Fly, Adam Kupperman. DJ Dallas. Oh, there's LaMichael P. Ryan, Samaj's brother or cousin. One or the other, they're related. Alright, third box, almost halfway through this half case break. We got a picker team break coming up a little bit later tonight. What about other sub 500 teams that could be playoff teams? My Raiders? Broncos, 7 and 9? I don't think so. I think the Raiders are still a couple years away. Broncos could be interesting. They still have a pretty excellent defense, right? They might be able to sneak in. Giants, four and twelve. I think Daniel Jones still is promising, but I think that team might be a few years away. Washington? Not sure about the Redskins. How long before Mariota takes over for Carr for my Raiders, or does it happen at all? I, I don't know honestly, but I do, I don't think that's the intent. I don't think that's the intent. But I would say that this is a big year for Derek Carr. You know, I like Derek Carr a lot, but I'm not like married to him at, at quarterback for my Raiders, right? You know, but I don't think maybe a knee-jerk reaction and get rid of him and move him, blah blah blah. 
is not the answer either. Somewhere in between. Maybe Mariota is that in between. But I mean, Tannehill beat out Mariota in Tennessee, so how good is Mariota? You know, is he better than Derek Carr? But I think this is a big year for Derek Carr. Like, he really needs to kind of... He's got consistency in coaching, right? Offensive coordinators. He's got some talent around him now. Guys that can catch the ball. Darren Waller last year. Josh Jacobs, you know. And he's got some young pass catchers and playmakers on the team through the draft. This is going to be a big year for him. You know, Dodgers... Or Dodgers. Uh, Raiders defense has improved a little bit. So I think there's a lot of... Uh, you know, the Raiders are moving in the right direction. Let's put it that way. So now it's up to Derek Carr to see if he could, he can carry that forward. 101 out of 115. Carry on, Johnson. Carry on my wayward son. Nick Stover with that one. Nick Stover. Dantzler. There's Jamal Adams. Seahawks gave up a big haul for Jamal Adams. Lynn Bowden Jr., yeah, that, that's an exciting playmaker for the Raiders. He might see some snaps at quarterback. You know, once he gets... I feel like pass catchers and playmakers like that take a little bit longer to to really marinate and get... get get into the league, but there could be mid-season, later in the season, could be some interesting packages for Lynn Bowden Jr. Tom Brady again for the Bucks, Chris Maxwell. But if, you know, if Derek Carr doesn't look too good in the next year or two, it's Jordan Love for the Green Bay Packers. Amber, there you go, Amber. We love it. I think this might be Derek Carr's last sort of moments with the Raiders, last year or two with the Raiders if he doesn't make any significant improvements. What kind of quarterback is Derek Carr? You know, he's not really a, I mean, he's a good dude, good playmaker, pretty accurate. But I think the knock is, and I think that this was the knock on him in college too. Like, Maybe a little jittery in the pocket after the first big hit or two. There's Leighton Vanderesh. Die cuts 24. There's Lynn Batten Jr. again. So he gets rattled a little easily. Kind of. Some decision making is a little frustrating. I think there he is. There's two years in a row where he did like the I'm going to run this ball into the end zone, but he kind of reaches out towards the pylon with one hand. It gets knocked into the end zone. That happened two years in a row. You can't do that. There's a swag, some swagger. Rob Gronkowski, dual relic. But, like, he's definitely not like an Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck can go on a bad team and suddenly make them look like a good team. You know what I mean? He's not that kind of quarterback. I mean, he definitely is probably more in the line of... Maybe he's more of a Joe Flacco type. You know, he's got some arm strength, you know, but maybe needs the defense and maybe just a, a really good clicking offense set up by the run to do well. I'd like to think that he's, that Derek Carr is a little bit better than Joe Flacco, but, but maybe that's a good, a decent comp right there. Hey, Joe Flacco won a Super Bowl, so I'll take that. But meanwhile, the other piece of the Raiders are getting pretty good. The running game, pass catching game. Their offensive line has always been pretty solid. I could see John Gruden in the next. If 
doesn't work out Derek Carr in the next year or two. I think Derek Carr gets a, a season or two. You know, but if that doesn't work out, I think, I think, uh, I could see John Gruden, and if they keep drafting well and getting some good free agents and stuff, I could see a situation where they get where Gruden gets like a Rich Gannon type. I don't know what veteran quarterback will be available at that point, but in a couple of years, but I could see him being like, yeah, let's let's get an old quarterback and uh, do that Rich Gannon thing he did with the Raiders in the early 2000s. Who would be that quarterback? You pulled a pull Nice. I see your one on that Damn. That impeccable soccer is hot. No, you know what I think that quarterback can be? Um, Aaron Rodgers. Right? If the Packers are looking to get rid of him in three or four years. I told somebody, I was like, listen, if the Packers don't compete right now, and they think Jordan Love is who they ha- who is the person they think it is. Why wouldn't you trade him for just a bevy of picks? You get rid of his contract. Get all those picks. Have Jordan Love start. Just disgusting. And isn't and isn't isn't Aaron isn't Aaron Rodgers like a QB that Gruden would love? Absolutely. But not only you know? that, I was like, there's gonna there's, there's gonna be multiple teams that are right on the doorstep of getting to like the Tyler the Johnson Buccaneers or to the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? And just Finishing short just by a little bit. And all Chris Maxwell with that. So. Patrick Queen. Uh, Tommy Stevens. Start? No, I'm good. Thank you. I like Mariota just fine. Is he, is what, but... I think he's a good backup, but what, what's what's Mariota going to do? Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill beat him out of a job, and he got sent away because of Ryan Tannehill. Think about that. Let that sink in. And he's been in the league for a little while. Tom Brady is 75, the A of Brady. Eric J says Niners would welcome Aaron Rodgers. I'm sure a lot of people can use, even an aging Aaron Rodgers. Niners are committed to, to Garoppolo, though, aren't they? There's another Tyler Johnson autograph. This time on card, Pen Pals auto for the Buccaneers, Chris Maxwell. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be moving away from Garoppolo. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess. I guess if if Aaron Rod if Garoppolo doesn't turn into an Aaron Rodgers, basically, if you can get Aaron Rodgers, yeah, why not? Anthony Pickett says Aaron Rodgers to Dallas. Interesting. So, Dak Prescott out. Maybe they what they do? Do they tag Prescott for another couple of years and they wait for Rodgers to become available? Rodgers back together with Mike McCarthy. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if they had the best relationship towards the end of their tenure. There's Drew Law, two color dual relic. Right, yeah, like Adam said, he's not going back to McCarthy. Carson Wentz? What's Wentz going to do? I think I think the Eagles wish that they that he would be able to stay healthy. He was last year. Maybe maybe that's an unfair knock on him, but I think Wentz is going to stick with the Eagles for a while. All right, two more boxes to go. What are other some other sub 500 teams that could make the playoffs. What about the NFC South? That was brutal. Saints were 13 game winners, but Falcons were 7 and 9, Buccaneers were 7 and 9, Panthers 5 and 11. Bridgewater and the Panthers and Christian McCaffrey. Do they they turn a 5 and 11 team into a playoff team? Buccaneers 7 and 9, Brady does Brady turn that 79 team into a playoff team? Falcons? Does Matt Ryan and Julio Jones still have uh, some magic up their sleeves? Only one sub-500 team in the NFC West. That was the Arizona Cardinals, 5-10. I think Arizona Cardinals are going to look good, but... 
They're in a tough division. They got to play the Niners twice, Seahawks twice. The Rams are still pretty solid. They got to play them twice. Tyler Brennan says it'll be a sad day when Rodgers leaves the Packers. The Bron yeah, my, my Broncos. Broncos could make it. At defense alone. I mean, if Drew Locke's got some weapons, I'm not going to like it, but that's not a, bad, not a bad value pick if one were investing in Broncos futures. All right, second to last box. Here's Brian Lewerke, Jason Kelsey. There's Bridgewater die cut to 24. And we got some Brian Edwards for my Las Vegas rate. Brian, what are you doing? You might want to slide that down here. Raiders. Who's got my Las Vegas Raiders? Arthur Hackett. He's from South Carolina, I think. One of one of the one of the few uh, big playmakers that the Raiders got. Henry Ruggs, Brian Edwards, and uh, Lynn Bowden Jr. Pass catching playmakers that the Raiders have added, giving Carr some more weapons. In addition to Darren Waller as a pass catcher. In addition to Tyrell Williams is still there. People really like Zay Jones. He's still out there. So it's, a, it's kind of a crowded receiving core, but it'll be some good competition. Keyshawn Vaughn to 399. And of course, Josh Jacobs in the backfield, among others. That might be next year's draft. Next year's draft might be shoring up that backfield. Derrick Henry to 75. The end. I don't think we're going to make any names of end up players, ladies and gentlemen. There was that swagger card you saw a little bit ago for the Washington football team, Chris Hansen. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're they're not they're not changed. There's no division change. I mean, Vegas is still. The same time zone as Oakland, so I don't think much is changing there. There's field vision, Ryan Tannehill, and autograph. Nice. Titans. Chris Maxwell got randomized the Titans. What a great season for him last year. Does Ryan Tannehill keep it going? That's a 25. His cousins. Michael Thomas. Last box. What about playoff team reverse question? Playoff teams that won't make the playoffs again. In the NFC, your playoff teams were Niners, Seahawks, Saints, Vikings, Packers, Eagles. Playoff teams that will that will not make the playoffs again. Now, Lions already don't make the playoffs, Tyler Brenner. I'm talking last year's playoff teams that won't make the playoffs this, this year. So 2019 NFC playoff teams, Eagles, Packers, Vikings, Saints, Niners, Seahawks. We're going NFC first, Tyler Brennan. Hmm. 
Give me Seahawks. Yeah. I think the Eagles are trying to redef redefine their sort of identity, right? They're pretty good. They still need pieces, though. He, James Powers' Eagles and Packers will be missing. Yeah, Packers. Well, they'll, re they'll, they'll regress from 13 and 3. Tyler Brenner says Niners. Maybe Seahawks win that division. Rams can win the division again. Could be one of those situations where, like, you can get double digit wins and that one team doesn't get into the playoffs. We've seen that happen before. All right. Now, AFC. I think Patriots are the obvious one, right? Here are the playoff teams from last year in the AFC from 2019. What teams will not. What playoff teams will not make the playoffs this season in the AFC? Patriots, Bills, Ravens, Texans, Titans, Chiefs. Those are your playoff teams. Patriots, Bills, Ravens, Texans, Titans, Chiefs. Right, Niners got to be the obvious one, right? Titans, yeah, Titans. I don't know. That Derrick Henry's a beast, though. David Velez is Chiefs, right. I'd be stunned. But I, I don't know. Is that 24 out of 25? Spark plugs. Drew Locke. Pats, Texans, Titans all misses James Power. I don't know. The AFC West is kind of weak. I, I feel like the Chiefs can go 8-8 eight and eight and, still end, and still end up winning the division. Ryan Tannehill. No Titans, huh? I mean, if Tannehill, if he can do what he did last, if he has a nice encore ooh, with Derrick Henry, that receiving core too. That receiving core is nice. Improve that defense a little bit. Vrabel with a little more experience under his belt. We got Devin Duvernay to 199 for the Purple Birds. That will be for Chris Maxwell. I think the Ravens miss. When for who's threatening the Ravens? Browns maybe. There's Antoine Winfield to 799. Jason Kelsey to 62. It's a random number. Oh, that's his number. Ryan Kerrigan for Washington. Jerry Judy to three ninety nine. And there's Jerry Judy autograph for my rivals, the Broncos. I think that he's from Alabama, right? Yeah, that Jerry Judy, Henry Ruggs pick, I think, will be linked together for, for all time as long as their careers go. Jerry Judy, Alabama receiver, now for the Broncos. Henry Ruggs, Alabama receiver for the Raiders. Picked pretty close to each other, too. Jacob Eason to 49. Van Jefferson. Yeah, I mean, Adam W. is like, A.J. Brown's going to be a beast for the Titans and with Henry. Do we believe? Do we believe in Ryan Tannehill to keep it going? That's that's the thing. All right, Alan. Alan Aggie saying, hey, watch out, watch out for those Titans. Don't sleep on them. All right, nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a quick little recap. Some pretty solid stuff. We've got more in the store. We've got more coming up. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. I'll see you next time for the next one. Good football talk, too. Cheers.